Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on um, controlling image size of your, of your photographs in Photoshop. So I've opened up this image that I took with my uh, Canon Rebel camera and I know it's a high resolution image. Well one, because I took took it with my Canon EOS Rebel camera which is uh, it's like 13 megapixels, right? And in this what does that mean 13 megapixels you know everybody says oh I have 10 megapixels or 12 megapixels 13 megapixels that has to do with the resolution of the image that you can get the higher the megapixels on your camera the higher resolution that means the larger you'll be able to print your image and have it still be photographic quality right so if you had like a uh, 5 megapixel camera you're not even going to be able to um, print an 8 by 10 nicely but if you had an 8 megapixel camera, then yeah, you could print an 8 by 10 really nicely, and you could probably print a much uh, 11 by 14 nicely, or maybe even a uh, poster size, right? High resolution and have it look really good, okay? So anyway, I know this is a high resolution image because of the camera I took it with, but also when I open it up, if I look up here at the top of the window, I can see here it says image 8417. It's a JPEG file, but it says 16.7 here, and that is the, the size that it's being shown at. So right now, when we see this image in the window, um, when we see this image in the window, it's only 16% of its true size. The true size of this image, I'm going to get my zoom tool here, and zoom in, click, click, 25, 33, Here's 50% zoomed in, and you can see there 67% zoomed in. And when I zoom in all the way to 100%, then this is the true resolution of my image. This is, I'm seeing here um, all the pixels as they are. All this information was shot when the picture was shot. And you can see that if I scroll here, you know, that it's, it's a pretty large image, right? So this is showing me the full amount of pixels that were actually shot when this image was taken because I'm zoomed in 100%. Now what if I zoom in more than 100%? Well if I keep zooming in what happens is the computer in Photoshop will interpolate um, where there are no pixels and it will basically put the same color next to each other guessing what should go there. So if I zoom in here you'll see you'll start to see pixelation and right there you can see the pixels right? If I zoom in you see the pixels and um, basically Photoshop is interpolating what should be there and showing you um, the pixels as they as they would look. Um, so when I zoom back out to 100% we see it as it actually um, is. Okay so image resolution is a tough comp is a tough um, topic and it actually is even though we're using it as first topic of the class it's a pretty advanced topic and we could go really in depth with it but the basic idea is this you want to control your image size you want to be able to say um, you know how big do you want your image how do you want to save your image and to do that first of all you have to ask yourself what are you using your image for is, are you going to print it if you're going to print it and you're going to print it to some photographic paper you probably want the highest resolution possible for your image right so let's look at that first so here's my image I'm going to zoom back out and then we'll take a look at that okay so I've zoomed back out I'm going to go to image image size and well this is an important dialog box this is where you control the size of your image you'll see right now at the top it shows me the total pixels this is the total pixels that were captured by my camera 2,848 wide, 4,272 height. So that's all the pixels that were captured, right? And down here, you'll see the document size. Right now, if I was to print this, it would try to print at the printer at 39 inches, 40 inches, by the height, 60 inches, all right? Now, if you wanted to print this out of your printer, chances are you don't want an image to print at 40 by 60 with a resolution of 72. Okay, 72 is the resolution of your monitor, right? It looks good on the monitor at resolution 72. It will not look good coming out of your printer at resolution 72. So what we want to do is we want um, to 
increase the resolution and while at the same time when we increase the resolution we want the width and the height to go down to let's say uh, 8 by 10 okay so what we want to do is we want to turn off resample image I do not want to resample the image I do not want to change the image I don't want to lose these pixels so I'm going to turn off resample image okay notice how you can no longer lose pixels here because it's now on it's not locked and now what I can do is I can change the width to 8 so that's 8 and notice here inches right make sure that says inches now 8 inches right height 12 inches so this would be an 8 by 12 image and the resolution by lowering the size the dimensions and then the resolution has gone up okay now that's important I'm gonna go back to 72 resolution and show you what happens if you don't have resample image unchecked if I have resample image checked and I go up here and I change width right to 8 inches right now I have 8 inch by 12 inch it'll print out the same size but look what happened to my resolution 72 well that's low resolution that's no good why is that well because we've told the computer that we want to resample this image and that we've said hey I want the width to only be 576 pixels instead of 2800 and I want the height to be 864 pixels instead of 4200 right so basically if we click OK right now we lose we lose um, resolution our image will go from 34 megabits down to 1 megabit and we won't be able to print out a nice image it will not print out nicely at 8 by 12 so we have to turn off resample image and then change the width to 8 right the height will go to 12 right and now our resolution is high 356 this will be a nice 8 by 12 image 356 resolution uh, is photographic quality uh, if the resolution is 360 dots per inch or 300 dots per inch that's photographic quality and that would be good so I'll click OK and you won't see any change in the image but now it's been set to print properly okay now what if I want to save this image in a medium sized format to put on the web well I could say image image size and I could say well I want to resample the image I want to constrain proportions I want to do um, best for reduction by cubic sharper best for reduction and I want to let's see here have a um, let's see here. I want a 5 by 7 image and I want the resolution to be 72 to match my monitor so now I'll have a small image 360 by 540 click OK and now it's at 16 percent right so I got to zoom into 100 percent to see what it's actually going to look like do that and that's what it's actually going to look like so that's how you control your image size so the best thing to do is when you're saving your image we'll talk about saving it in the next video you want to save multiple versions a high resolution version and maybe a low resolution version and um, I always do multiple saves if I really like the image and um, I'm planning on using it a bunch of times